Sergeant Russell, what are you doing here? Waiting for you. I've seen you coming. Been a long time. Yeah, six years plus a payday or two here and there. Oh, I'm uh, I'm civilian now, Candy. Mr. Russell. Yes, sir. The army figured that 30 years was long enough, so they retired me. What are you doing now? Yeah, scratching along with the chickens, you know, doing the best I can. Because the Congress voted the officers a pension. The enlisted men, we, we didn't even get a thank you kindly. I yeah, know. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, yeah, maybe you could. I, uh, I could use a little spot to camp on for a while. If... Well, that's easy. Ponderosa's a big spread. You pick out a spot. I'm sure I can clear it with Mr. Cartwright. A oh, man couldn't ask for more than that. Fact is, I uh, already picked out a likely spot. It's, uh, it's over here. Peace, you want to ride along? I'll show you where it is. Sure. Lead the way. <laughs> Sergeant, you're back. Sir? Yeah. Hi, Sergeant. Sergeant, I'm beginning to think that uh, running into you wasn't an accident. You don't think I'd sandbag an old friend out of here, Candy? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. But it's in a good cause. Me and the boys here, a bunch of overage rejects, and we've been traveling together. All right, you squatters. Who gave you permission to camp here? We're just about as welcome as the plague. Every place we stop, somebody comes along, wants to move us on out. Well, this time, we're staying. Carson City people don't want ex-soldiers around here. Your kind make nothing but trouble. We've had all we're going to take. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Now, hold on, Gary. Man's only saying what he feels. We don't intend to make any trouble, Mr. Uh, we don't intend to move on either. We didn't come out here to argue. I'm telling you, get out, or we'll come back here with a posse and run you out. Mr. Gibson, but me and my boys here spent about 30 years looking trouble right in the eye. Never run before, and we're not going to run now. You'll run if we have to bring out every man from Carson City. This is Ponderosa land, Mr. Gibson. It's up to Mr. Cartwright whether these men go or stay. That's no problem. Ben Cartwright will see it our way. You better go see Mr. Cartwright. Candy, I was hoping you'd say that. Come on. Yeah. Burke, you take over here, Tommy. Yeah. All right, Sergeant. Go. soldiers. Some of us have caused a lot of trouble. Right. Gunplay, holdups, stealing livestock, chickens, everything that isn't nailed down. That's right. Mm -hmm. I 
I won't deny it. I won't even try. Criminals. No other name for them. If you let them squat on your land, you'll never be rid of them. Now, George, it is my land, so why don't you let me take care of that? There's no sense to you hanging around. We're sick of being asked for your handouts. We're not asking for charity. We aim to pay our own way. How? We brought our own jobs with us. Anybody ever hear a ginseng root? Ginseng? Yeah, for my sailing days. It's an oriental herb. They use it for medicinal purposes. That's right. More to the point, the Chinese here in this country will buy all they can get of it, and they'll pay a good price for it, too. Let me tell you something, Ben. If these has-been soldiers make one wrong move, we'll find a way to get rid of them, whether you like it or not. Come on, Al. It looks like I'm putting you in bed with your neighbors. I shouldn't want to do that. Now, don't worry about it. Mr. Gibson, he'll come around. I hope so. Well, guess I better be getting back. You know, the boys will be anxious to know how I made out. Sergeant, how you fix for rations? I've been in that camp. They're fresh out of everything. Well, you come by tomorrow morning early and pick up anything you need, Sergeant. That's, uh, that's not charity. That's a loan. All right, sir. If you put it that way, I'll accept. And with thanks. Candy. Sergeant. See you in the morning. Joe. Take care. How are you? Am I glad to see you? Oh, same here. Sure happy you could make it. Thank you. How'd you make out, Sarge? Oh, got good news. Cartwright says we can stay. We're going over there tomorrow morning, pick up a whole wagon load of rations. Oh, good. Jeff Gentry's here. Inside. Ah. Uh, used to be my good right arm. <laughs> Don't burn your Confederate money. I won't. Good. I'm glad you got here. Stuff there to blow up the state of Nevada. Better too much than too little. Besides, you couldn't say what the target was. You don't really care, do you? As long as it's something you can blow to smithereens. Well, you can't uh, fault a man for enjoying his work. No. Well, maybe that's what makes you one of the best. Yeah, you better uh, stow your play pretties in there in case we have any visitors. I want them out of sight. Naturally, Sergeant. You still haven't told us why you got us together. There's one man still to come. I'm expecting him any time now. As soon as he gets here, you'll all know what I have in mind. I guarantee it's something you'll enjoy. That'll be nice. I haven't had much pleasure lately. I'll just keep that key until you need it. Jeff, you want to eat? You better get it now. Days are long gone, Jackson. And no more Confederate colonels. This one here. He signed up in the U.S. Army as an enlisted man, and he was retired as an enlisted man. Any of you damn Yankees don't like the way I talk or act. Come on. I'm trying to change my style. Horses. Wonder I got here at all. Yeah. You got it? Take a look. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Webby. Cherokee. Uh, man, I want you to listen to me a minute. You can go on eating if you want. But you all been, uh, 
wondering just why we're here, so I figured it's time as I told you. Now, we're a company of experts. Every man here has been selected for his own special skill. Together, we're going to wind up with more money than the entire U.S. Army ever saw before. Oh, what? Come on, oh, sir. How are we going to do that? Good. It took me a year to plan this. I'll tell you, my own way, in my own good time. Well, we're listening, Sergeant. Yeah. We're soldiers, ain't we? Right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Should say ex-soldiers. Thrown out of the army to root with the hogs or starved. Soldiers. We've forgotten men. But we're going to do something to make them remember us, make them sit up and take notice. We're going to do something to make the whole world remember us. One thing we, we all want, something that we all earn fair and square, we're entitled to, our pension, right? Right. 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 Long we're overdue. Entitled to it. Yeah. So I think it's high time that we just helped ourselves. And that's why we're here, where the money is. In Carson City, Mint. Hey, we're gonna break that Mint wide open and take every last red cent. Oh, 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 that's quite right. started. Well, Sergeant, we never get well, away with Sergeant, it. Sergeant, that, that's been tried before, and nobody ever even came close. <laughs> no, nobody ever had insurance. Come on over here, I want to show you something. Now, what do you say, huh? Where are we? All right, we got everything we need. We're going to operate strictly as a military unit. That's the first thing I want you to get into your heads. Military discipline all the way. One man in command. That's me. That's me. Right. 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 You haul a frog and we jump. You said it. Right. All the way, Sergeant. Right. All the way. Right. All the way. Salt and bacon. I'd surely appreciate a little cornmeal if you've got it to spare. I would too. I've been hungering for whole cake and fried cornmeal much for a year of Sundays. Yeah, we got plenty in the store, as you can help yourselves. All right, thank you. Cornmeal's right here, Jim. Thank you. You got it? Thanks again. You bet. so I can't have any objection to you opening it up. I thought I'd just better find out why. Sergeant, getting us into the Mint is your job. Getting into the vault is mine. And if you had told me what you wanted, I would have come better prepared. Better prepared? I've seen you blow up a railroad bridge with less dynamite than you got there. That's true. And that bridge was made of pilings and planks, whereas the vault is of case-hardened steel. So you drill a hole, plant a charge, blow it open. Yes, I could do that in six or eight hours. Twenty-five minutes. You change the guards every two hours. The officer of the guard makes his round every 30 minutes. Which means we'll need nitro. Nitro. And how do you figure on getting that? I'll make it. Out of dynamite. 
And with a little luck, I won't blow up the camp while I'm doing it. But it's a slow job, Sergeant. Slow and careful. And that's why I thought I had better get started now. Three days. Does that give you enough time? It should. Good. What do you got there? What'd you get there? Gently, Sergeant. You keep shaking it and we'll both be missing an arm. So Ponderosa is the only place you could have got. Why not? Oh, you fool, you. You risk the whole operation stealing something you don't even need. It's a big job, Sergeant. They might just come in handy. You'd steal anything just as long as it blows up, wouldn't you? Suppose the Cartwrights discover they're missing. They come down here, ask us what we intend to dynamite. Well, Sergeant, I have every confidence that you will think of something to tell them. Mulpergans? Thought you ought to know. Some of the men are griping. About what? Those who haven't been in Carson City think they ought to get a look at it before we hit the mint. The entire company will see Carson City tomorrow. That's part of the plan. That's all, Bert. Surprised to see you, gentlemen, in this neck of the woods. Thought you'd be going to church in Virginia City. It's closer to home. Yeah, we usually do. They got a visiting preacher over here, an old friend of Paul's. Ah, yes. Well, it'll be beneficial to all of us to hear the good word. Give us something to think about while we're out digging the ginseng root. The uh, services should be starting. Yes. Yeti? Hey, um, I don't remember you as being much of a churchgoer. Candy, the older you get, the more you start thinking about the hereafter, the great day of judgment. You know, I, I got to be prepared with just about anything in my time of life. Yeah, well, I got a notion that it's not salvation you got in mind. You know, to tell you the truth, you're right. I've just been trying to make a favorable impression on the good citizens of Carson City. Well, don't you think you'd be better off if you stayed out of sight? No. No, I want to convince them that we're just as honest and decent, clean living, no different than they are. I mean it. Sure, maybe that way they'd let us stay put someplace for a while instead of running us out of the country all the time. That's a good idea. As long as that's all you got in mind. What else would I have in mind? I don't know. An old sinner like you going to church seems a little strange. Ah, uh, <laughs> now. You better be careful. It's liable to get to be a habit. <laughs> Let's go find out. Right. Thank you.
I never saw Jackson and Perkins run from anything in my life. What happened? I suppose I don't care for people looking over my shoulder. They play games, eh? Those men have been soldiering for 30 years. They ought to know by now it takes more than fire to detonate dynamite. But besides, as I think I mentioned, I don't like anyone looking over my shoulder, Sergeant. Your privilege. Next time you let me know, I'll take care of them. Oh, fine, fine. While I'm out hunting you up, one of the men takes this bottle and shakes it. And you're short, two men. You telling me the truth, Jim? Because that stuff was... Was it that touchy? Touchy, Sergeant? Yeah. Nitro is the meanest stuff in the world to handle. Even when it's pure, as clear as water. You can't let it get too hot or too cold. You can't bump the container. You certainly better not drop it. Unless you want to depart suddenly. And this stuff is a long, long way from being pure. Matter of fact, it reminds me of a batch I made once. Blew up. Just sitting in the shade, nobody around. At least, uh, I don't think there was anybody around. How are you going to get it from here to Carson City? I'll fill the bottle clear to the top so it doesn't slosh. I'll put it in a box packed tightly with torn up blanket strips. And when we get there, if we get there, I'll show you a trick you've never seen. How long is it going to take you to open up the vault? Four minutes, give or take 30 seconds. Of course, that's after we get to it, there'll be four sentries, one at each side of the building. And how do you propose to take them out? Maybe I'll show you a little trick you never saw before. of detonators missing from the Ponderosa storeroom. They were there when you and your men came for supplies, and they're gone now. You think we stole them, huh? <laughs> yeah, I know you did. <laughs> I locked the storeroom after you left. Nobody's been in there till I went in this morning. Would you mind telling me what a box of dynamite caps has got to do with digging ginseng? Not a thing, Gaddy. But I, I will tell you something else. You're coming over here to look for them dynamite caps. Well, save me the trouble of coming after you. Coming after me? Why? Got a little job I need your help on in Carson City. Carson City. <laughs> I was right. Church going wasn't what brought you there after all, was it? No, it wasn't. Me and my men are gonna bust into the Carson City Mint. <laughs> you, oh, come on, you're joking. No, no, no joke. You're gonna open the front door for us. Oh, come on. Yes, I looked into it, I find out. Lots of times you deliver gold and silver there for Mr. Cartwright. So what you gotta do is go up and knock on the front door and they'll open it for you. You're insane. <laughs> oh, no, Candy. No, I will admit the idea well, it, it could take a little getting used to. And uh, well, I, I kind of hate, hate to put you in the middle, but don't you see with your help is going to make the job a whole lot easier? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. <sighs> You're not putting me in the middle. Because you just showed me that I don't owe you a thing. Not loyalty, not respect, not even friendship. What's happened to you? You used to be a good top kick, one of the best. Maybe you didn't always go by the book. 
But when you bent the regulations, it was to protect your men. Now you're using those stripes to turn them into a bunch of outlaws. You all through? Yeah. That's your say. Now, you listen to me for a minute, young fella. I'm gonna tell you something that even my own men don't know. And I'm not turning outlaw in my old age, either. Me and every one of them men out there served the country for over 30 years. And then they were turned out to pasture, to starve. That's why I'm gonna take that gold from the Carson City Mint and I'm gonna hold it for ransom. People all over the country will hear about it. Now realize how desperate our situation is. And the newspapers will get hold of it. No. Yes, and they'll make Congress pass a law to give us our pensions. No. And then, then, Candy, I'm going to turn the gold back to them. No, that's not the way to do it. Even if you're lucky enough to pull it off, you'll just turn everybody against you. It'll work, Candy. Believe me, I tell you. No, it'll work. Well, you can count me out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you a few things. Well, first off, that wagon over there with the insignia painted on the side, was a decoy. It's gonna get us to the front of the mint. It's gonna get you shot. You don't even look like soldiers. No, we will. We will. A supply sergeant friend of mine's come up with four brand new regulation uniforms. Candy, everything's been planned right down to the last detail. Rifle. Ammunition, uniforms, nitro, and this. This is going to open the door of the Mint for us. Of course, a lot of the good people inside could get killed. Save a lot of bloodshed if you'd open the door for us, Candy. So you're declaring war on the United States government? It can be that way, or we can get what we want without one shot being fired. It's all up to you. Oh, no, no. You're going to have to do it without me, Sergeant. Time up. I think you'll change your mind, Ken. I'm sure hoping you will. Money. You all got your orders. You know what to do. Just make sure that not more than two of you ride into town at the same time. Good luck. We've had them out. Out. Take a fire left. Forward. Oh. It's nitro, Mr. Kennedy. Think about that on our rough ride into town. Yeah, I'm sure. The little tracks, wagons, horses, and everything. Fine. They asked permission to stay, and then they just up and leaves. Does that seem a little strange to you? Yeah, to put it mildly. 
I'd like to know what happened to Candy and those dynamite caps. And these tracks head for Carson City. Bet you this time they're not going to church. Seven minutes left. Make it 23 to be on the safe side. I told you I only need four. Over 90 seconds. Bullseye candy. This cannon's aimed to make a bullseye right on the front door, so that meant. Yep, it's all loaded and waiting. All I gotta do is just let the spark to that fuse. Candy, we're gonna bust into that mint one way or the other. Now, you're gonna help us, you nod your head, yes. Because if you shake it now, you're gonna start a small war.
Kennedy. Liver in gold for uh, Ben Cartwright. Just a minute. and the rest of us stab into the room there, tying gaggers. Hardman, move on, Get him in there. Move on. Get in there. Move in there. Get 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 in well, then send somebody ahead of me, Sergeant. With what I'm carrying, I'd rather not get into a shooting match. Perkins. All clear. Come ahead. Let's go. Five minutes before. Can I help? Yes. Stay out of the way. Why would anybody want to leave a wagon parked right in the middle of the street like that? Don't talk, just keep riding. in front of the mint. It's one of Russell's men. Are you sure about that? You're darn right, I'm sure. He was with them when they got supplies out at the Ponderosa. Hey, that fellow back there at the wagon, did you ever see him before? No. Could he be one of Russell's men, you think? Yeah, it could be. Joe, we better get some help. Cartwright just rode past. Bo's afraid they might have recognized the sentry. Now, that's your problem, isn't it, Sergeant? And you'd better get set to handle it, because this thing is going in exactly a minute and a half. boys rode past a few minutes ago. Maybe they recognized Jackson and maybe they didn't. Yeah, Tom, folks. They come and go. Pass by this place so often, they never really see it. Well, we hope they don't. If the Cartwright should come back, just uh, open the door and ask him. I'll just do that.
Four minutes, ten seconds, Jeb. How much longer? Just as long as it takes me to light the match. Run, both of you. Russell the Cartwright says rode out, heading home. All right, Russell's man thinks we left town. He's still out in front of the mint. You get going, we'll take care of the wagon. Russell. There's something you haven't told us yet. Where are we taking this gold, and where do we split it up? We're not splitting it up. We're heading up into the Rimrock country as the unit. Find some place up there that we can defend. A place we can defend? There is no such place. Sarge, Bo says the street's clear. We've got to get moving. Right. You're not making any sense, Russell. Now, we all have a share in that gold. And if we split it up and run, every man for himself, some of us will make it. I am in command here. We're holding that gold for ransom until Congress votes us a pension. You mean give back the gold after all this? If we keep it, we're thieves. We do it my way, we're just fighting for our rights. We do it your way, we rot in jail or hang. I am still in company. <laughs> Mexico. Open it. I'll settle with you when we get to Mexico.
yellow bellies. Pick up those guns and hold them off till I get the nitro. No, you don't. It's all over. Thank <laughs> you. 